Joe Woden. I need him to get busy as he kicks up towards the wing. Oh, jolly. Fantastic, Mark. Oh, oh. He's a big enough fella as it is, and then he went up higher again. Goes towards the forward pocket. Right. Jolly over the top. That's a good leap over Gibson. Set the boat up, takes him away from goal, feeds it back to Jolly. Oh, oh. No sign of the Jolly Rebels. He puts it through. Hey everyone, we're into the trade week now and here is my personal best for the best win-win trades in the last 20 years. At number 10, uh, Fraser Gehrig in 2001 went to St Kilda uh, for pick 18 which West Coast used for Daniel Kerr. St Kilda were happy, they got Fraser Gehrig. 2001, he finished second in the best and fairest. He won back-to-back -back Coleman medals in 2004 and 2005 and was also All-Australian in 2004. He was nicknamed the G-Train and twice to kick 10 goals in a match, once against Richmond and once against North Melbourne. Now he'll drive the ball along, here's the G-Train. Garrick marks from the chest. Kangaroo defenders can't get near him, he plays on. Wheels from 50, five metres inside the boundary line. Garrick's got a couple. The Saints have got three. Dynamic start for the Saints. West Coast got Daniel Kerr, who's widely known as one of the toughest midfielders in the AFL. He became a runner-up in the Brownlow in 2005 and 2007, and he's a Premiership player for West Coast in 2006. It's to Braun, the Eagles are still trying. Now Kerr can keep going, and does. And does some more, and some more. Surely he couldn't from 48. Oh, he has! Number nine, Lee Colwood in 2000, from Geelong to North, who in turn got Cameron Mooney. Lee Colwood played a total of 209 games, 105 for Geelong, 104 for North Melbourne. Regarded as a fearless player, usually playing off half-back. Adrian Cox, oh, Colbert again, he is a hero. Simpson gets some distance to half-board, or oh, Colbert. He's paid he it, has paid it. and he paid should it. have paid it. He had eyes only for the footy. Cameron Mooney, a triple premiership player. One with North Melbourne in 1999 and two with Geelong in 2007 and 2009. All Australian in 2007 and was Geelong's leading goal kicker in that year as well. Played a total of 221 games and is renowned for his passion on the field. The to lose Chapman who missed that last goal, smothered. Campbell got a hand to it, it still goes 20 metres, taken by Mooney, all the time in the world assessing the options, good close down defence, bring something special out of Cam Mooney, nothing was on, he took the bit between his teeth and from the boundary has treaded it through. Number eight, Wayne Swass for Shannon Grant in 1998. When we talk about best win-win trades, this one's probably one of the top ones ever going around. Wayne Swass, better known as Swatter, was a champion wingman and known for his blistering pace and courage. He played a total of 184 games for North Melbourne and was a premiership player in 1996. He was traded to Sydney and played 98 games where he became a leader of the Sydney Swan side and won the best and fairest. Kick in towards centre half forward. Mooney, Jackovic, no hesitation. Spoils, Swass oh. steps on out. Onto the left, 53 metres out, the left foot of Wayne Schwoss gone long, it's there! Four goals, Wayne Schwoss, he's pumped! Shannon Grant, known as one of the premier midfielders in the AFL. He played in the Premiership in 1999 and won the Norm Smith medal in that game as well. Won North Melbourne's best and fairest in 2001 and went on to play 301 AFL games. To within 45 metres, that's a free kick, no, that pass, let play go on, Chris Dew. Number seven, Barry Hall, St Kilda to Sydney in 2002. St Kilda got pick 18, which they used for Nick Del Santo. Barry Hall, Bazza, well, where do I start? Got traded to Sydney, where he played a total of 162 games and lent Sydney, Sydney's goal kicking in 2002 and 2008. I was lucky enough to play with Baz in the uh, Premier, 2005 Premiership side where he was captain. He won the Bobby Skilton medal in 2004 and was full-time All-Australian. Matna clears, but not terribly well. Cox, oh. Hall, 
Terrific stuff. Oh, 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 don't lose it. Don't lose it. Nick Del Santo, creative left footer. Came third in the Brand Low in 2005 and was All Australian midfielder in 2005 as well. Has played over 200 games and is still going strong. It was McKenzie, now Hearn. He's going to hit this target. Oh, Lynch slipped over. Opportunity for Del Santo. Lynch just gets back on his feet. They've made the pass. Saints. Number six, Shane Mumford, traded to the Sydney Swans in 2010. Shalong got picked 28, which they used for Mitch Duncan. Shane Mumford, mummy. In 2008, showed up to pre-season and lost 20 kilos for Geelong. Couldn't really break into the side and was overlooked in the 2009 Grand Final. Was traded to Sydney, where in 2010, he made the All-Australian squad and came second in Sydney's best and fairest. Got there yeah. and then got beaten by Fremantle in the first final. Oh, oh, Mumford in the middle. Gathers his own crumb almost. Joseph tied up, tackled across the boundary by Mumford with a little extra aggression. That's why I reckon he's the trade of the year because he contests in the air and his stoppage works very good, but his second effort, the tackle was great. Mitch Duncan, young exciting forward who was capable of playing in the midfield. Debuted against Essendon, and in the opening round of 2010, he laid six tackles and had 10 disposals. He got an AFL Rising Star nomination in 2011 and was part of Geelong's premiership side in that year as well. Last year, Stokes in board to Guthrie. Guthrie loads up to full forward and takes a beauty. Number five, Chris Tarrant to Frio in 2007. Colin have got Paul Medhurst and pick eight, which they used for Ben Reid. Chris Tarrant, Taz, remembered for a lot of things, but his mark of the year in 2003 was pretty special. Tarrant! So he was all Australian that year as well, and led goal Collingwood's goal kicking in 2001 and 2005. I've had the privilege to play with Taz, and he's a fantastic leader. Tarrant will get a run out, and oh, and he came up with it! Good grab. Paul Medhurst, a real live wire up forward for both teams. I had the privilege to play with him and he was a great bloke. But the real win for Collingwood out of his trade was getting Ben Reid. All Australian, Premiership player, massive left foot and a great defender. Floats it, Reid backs back with the flight and still took the mark. Fantastic well courage, so he never took his eyes off the ball at all there Ben Reid. That is a super effort. Number four, Ben McGlynn to Sydney in 2010. Hawthorne received picks, which they used for Ben Stratton and Matt Suckling. Ben McGlynn couldn't really break into Hawthorne's side, but went up to Sydney and has thrived as a midfielder who can kick goals. Matna, McGlynn, keeps it alive, runs the pocket, kicks a banana, freakish! Ben and Matt have become really important plays in Hawthorne's defence in 2012. Suckling, normally a good kick. He's trying to bounce it through. Oh. That's sneaky. That's very sneaky. He bounces it through for a goal. Number three, Chris Judd from West Coast to Carlton in 2008 and in exchange got Josh Kennedy. Chris Judd, well, we all know what a fantastic player Juddy is. Came to Carlton and was named captain straight away. A Brandlow medalist and he's now helping Carlton get from the bottom of the ladder to come finals contenders every year. It's an awkward kick, Martin attacks, doesn't quite get a jut, oh brilliant, how's that pick up? Josh Kennedy, power forward for West Coast, when he's up and going, he's marking a lot, he's kicking goals and West Coast are an extremely hard team to beat. Lacra, Kennedy's lurking, he's on the move and he's got it. A hush falls over Patterson Stadium, the crowd sense the moment, the stutter steps, the big long Take ball, one. number it's a thing of beauty! Oh. Number two. Well, this was a beauty. Paul Salmon to Hawthorne, Darren Jarman to Adelaide, Sean Wellman and Paul Barnard to Essendon in 1996. Paul Salmon, a good player for Essendon, moved to Hawthorne and was number one ruckman. Fantastic player and made Hawthorne's team of the century. Kicking from 42 metres. Lovely kick. 
Darren Jarman was a freak at Hawthorne. He moved home to Adelaide and was a massive part in their 1997 and 98 Premiership wins. Magnificent play. Drives into the pocket and he finds Darren Jarman. He's right on 50. Is there a bit of magic? He runs around, takes a bounce. Runs in, he's going to kick a goal. He'll bring the house down and he has. Sean Wellman moved from Adelaide and under the coaching of Kevin Sheedy was a very important defender in Essendon's 2000 Premiership year. He's going to have to concede, will he? He doesn't. He's lost it. The D9. Spattered. Goes again. Spattered. Oh, great stuff. Throw it in the left forward pocket. Oh, great stuff. Bomb There's a the stern defense. ovation here by the people behind me. Paul Barnard. Couldn't get a game in Hawthorne, but once again, Kevin Sheedy saw something in him, and he was a very important player in Essendon's 2000 Premiership. Comes to set up for a good kick to Blumfield and Barnard. And he's kicked three. He's having a day out, isn't he? My number one trade was Nathan Buckley to Collingwood in 1994. Brisbane got Craig Stasevic and Troy Lehman and a pick for, used for Chris Scott. Nathan Buckley is a legend of the club. He's won everything at Collingwood except for a premiership. He's now the coach of our club. Buckley a chance. Loves these. Snapshot. Oh, what a goal! We can let it go. No, he needs to get it now. It's in the pocket. What can he conjure up? Here's something sensational! What a goal from Nathan Buckley! Craig and Troy, good players at Brisbane, but the real winner for Brisbane was getting Chris Scott. A really rugged defender, dual premiership player, and a real tough nut. Both legs and calves rubbed at the moment, but not as much as St Kilda. So, that, as you said, I think they're settled now and they're just rotating. Scott, long shot at goal. He's a favourite. At the Gabba, Chris Scott. 